Make your AI application powerful using model context protocol. Create MCP servers with just three lines of code. Give your AI agent the ability to interact with MCP. Add multiple tools to your AI agent framework. There are many model context protocol tutorial, but I haven't seen anything which explains step by step, even for a beginner to understand. So I've broken this down for you so you can understand exactly what's happening behind the scenes. And what is this MCP jargon? How you can use this MCP tool in your own application, create MCP servers and publish it online, integrate with your cursor and Winsurf editor and supercharge your coding experience. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Without MCP, you need to write custom code to integrate your large language model with any of your tools. This is tedious. But after MCP, this is simplified and you have only one unified API. All these applications are pre-built. As a beginner, when a user asks a question to the large language model, you get an answer. That is the beginner basic step. Then to make it more accurate, you add tools to a large language model, such as internet search tool or any other tool. And the large language model is going to use the tool to get the answer. MCP makes it easier for these tools to interact. So this is like a bridge between your tools and large language model. But this MCP could be MCP client and then MCP server. So this is how the whole interaction takes place. First, the user asking question, large language model using MCP client and the MCP client is sent to the MCP server and the MCP server will have those tools. Once after running the tools, it will return the response and it will be sent back as answer to the user by using the response from tools as context. So tools could be anything, Slack, Docker, GitHub, and you name it. But what is the difference between SSE and STDIO? If you see model context protocol, it supports standard input and output, and then server sent events. So what is the key difference? So here is standard input and output. As an application, you run this application in your terminal by just running commands like this, Python, app.py, or npx like this. So if you are able to execute any command in your terminal, then you can potentially use that as your MCP. And this runs locally on your computer. When you take SSC, it's like a web app, which can be run locally and also on the web. So we host it on a server, which can be local or on the web. So the URL will look like this, localhost or any public web application. But how does that fit in here? So we saw about MCP client on the server. That means that is SSE. Similarly, when you think about STDAO, standard input and output, so you got the MCP client here and any script, it could be Python script, bash script, which can be run on terminal and has those tools. So when the user asks a question, it, it is using MCP client and the script is run, which contains the tools response and the return response is sent back to the large language model as context and we get the answer. So the key difference exists here, whether you're going to write a script locally or do you want to publish as a web application online? MCP client is nothing but cursor, Winsurf, Prezen AI, and MCP server, you can build manually by reading and going through the documentation, but using Prezen AI, you are able to build that and publish that in your own server with just three lines of code. I've already explained about how to set up STDIO using scripts, which I covered in another video, which I'll put the link in the description below. First, I'm going to show you how you can create this MCP server with just three lines of code. Then I'm going to show you how you can integrate this with MCP clients such as Cursor, Winsurf, or Prezen AI. So first step, pip install Prezen AI agents, MCP, and then click enter. So once after installing, export your OpenAI API key like this, and then click enter. Instead of OpenAI key, you can also use Olama, LM Studio, Gemini, Anthropic Cloud, and anything to create your AI agents and MCP server. So in my case, I'm going to use OpenAI. So after typing like this, clicking enter, you can generate this API key from platform.openai.com. Now let's create a file called app.py like this, and then click enter. You can also right click and create a new file and name it as app.py. So after opening the file from Prezen AI agents, import agent, then agent equals agent, and I'm going to name that as a tweet agent, create a tweet based on the provided topic. And finally, agent.launch, 
and I'm providing the port number and protocol is MCP. So literally three lines of code and we have created MCP server. Now I'm going to run this code, Python app.py and then click enter. Now you can see it's running in this URL. You can see the endpoint slash SSE. So you can just copy this URL and you can paste this in cursor or Vincer. So in this, we have completed creating the MCP server. So whenever an input comes, a topic comes, it automatically returns the tweet because we have created a tweet agent and that is now published as a website and it's running locally, localhost. You can also publish that on any of your server. Now I'm going to show you how we can integrate with MCP client. So this is cursor, go into settings by clicking this icon, then go to MCP. So in the MCP section, you can add a new MCP server by clicking this icon. And this is the URL we have just copied. Just type this and then add SSE. I named my server as Twitter because that's what we see here in our server, slash SSE. And this is the path. So now you can save your configuration, go back to your MCP servers list in cursor, there you can turn it on and you can see our server is ready. Now I can ask in this terminal, tweet about AI. I'll help you about AI. So it's called MCP tool and you can see the prompt here. It's calling our agent, tweet agent, and we got the tweet here. So this is a simple example, but you get the point. You can have multi agents here, which can go through various steps, such as searching the internet. It could be your own private data or any of your internal API and the response can be returned to a cursor or any client. In the same way, you can use Prezen AI's client to call any SSE MCP server. I'll show you how. So I'm going to use the same URL, same like before importing agent and MCP from Prezen AI agents. It's a tweet verification agent using GPT-40 mini. And here I'm just using the path and I'm mentioning tweet agent dot start AI in healthcare. That's it. So in this way, you're adding MCP tool to your agent to make it super powerful. So now I'm going to run this code. Note that the MCP server is still running. As you can see, come on here. So I'm new, opening a new terminal here. Make sure you export your API key as well, because this is a new session. Now Python MCP SSE, that's where my code is. And now you can see it used the tool call to execute the tweet agent and got the tweet and finally here is the response. Similarly, way, you can add as many tools as you want, publish this on your own server as well. And now we have successfully created an MCP server first, then MCP client and then used cursor. And when we asked a question to cursor, it used the server and ran the tool that is the Prezen AI agent and then we got the response. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Also, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comments below. And I'm really excited about this. Also, I've provided detailed documentation how you can deploy MCP servers, step-by-step -step guide, MCP standard input output, MCP SSE, and MCP server. Considering you already like MCP, I also created another video which explains clearly the basics in regards to MCP standard input output execution using scripts, which I highly recommend for you to watch. And I'll put the link in here and I will see you there.